Welcome to the promotional video for our paper on tensorized determinants of point processes for recommendation. Our problem setting is basket completion, where our data consists of purchased shopping baskets. Given the populated basket of items, our prediction task is to recommend one or more items to complete the basket based on the items that we observe in the populated basket. A common approach for solving the basket completion problem is to use an associative classifier which involves building a multi-class classifier from a collection of association rules, which are in turn built based on selected confidence and lift thresholds. This approach is expensive to train and can be difficult to scale to large item catalogs. In contrast, our approach is based on a determinantal point process, or DPP, which is a discrete probabilistic model for subsets of items, such as shopping baskets, drawn from a ground set, such as an item catalog. DPPs are parameterized by a positive semi-definite kernel matrix, called L, whose parameters describe item-to-item -item similarities. The probability of a subset A in this model is proportional to the determinant of the submatrix of L indexed by the items in A. DPPs can be parameterized in terms of a low-rank embedding matrix V, as shown here. This low-rank parameterization allows the model to scale much more effectively than the full-rank version of the model, while reducing the number of model parameters. We build a logistic DPP model by extending the low rank model with a diagonal matrix D, which allows us to handle large baskets more effectively. The logistic component of the model moves us into a classification-based setting. And then the, our tensorized DPP generalizes the logistic DPP by learning a low rank tensor for each item to recommend. We use a low rank tensor to reduce the number of model parameters. And here we see an illustration of our final tensorized DPP model. Here, RT is a diagonal matrix composed of the latent factors for each candidate target item for completing a basket. We use a diagonal matrix to balance the, de the degrees of freedom between target items and items already in the basket. By construction, the diagonal D matrix prevents the model from returning a zero probability for large baskets. And we also use square exponents for the R and D terms to ensure that we have a positive semi-definite kernel a valid PSD kernel. Thank you very much. Uh, please visit our poster at KDD for more details on our work, and we'll see you at the conference.